Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we went southeast of Fortree City and made it to Lily Cove City. Now, I said we should probably do Mount Pyre first, and then to change my mind last second to explore Lily Cove City first. You'll see why later. This planet's biggest mysteries are at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. There's a deep underwater trench between Mossdeep and Zootopolis. That's what someone told me, anyway. Do it, does everyone just believe what they're told now? This person has something interesting to say, though. I came from Kanto. One region is beautiful with all its water and verdant nature. Huh? Wait a second. Could there be rare Pokemon that live only in this area? You bet there are. Team Aqua has been training their Wilmer in the cove. We sailors can't get our boats out to see what them in the way. Speaking of Team Aqua... This whole wide world became ours, Team Aqua's, it will be a happier place for Pokemon, too. Uh-huh. We just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a dragon-type Pokemon flying way up in the sky. Do cool Pokemon like that live in the whole region? On our honeymoon, we vowed to see as many rare Pokemon as we can. So we were delighted to see rare Pokemon as soon as we arrived. I mean, we're totally happy. Over here we have the Cove Lily Motel. Let's see what's in here. Uh, someone's watching TV. So they double the guests by using Pokemon as attractions? Maybe I should make a cute Pokemon our end's mascot. I wonder if that'll attract more guests to stay with us. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was too involved in watching TV. Since that Team Aqua came to town, the tourists have been staying away. So, this place is empty. Scott, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, sorry, I was snoozing. Came to check out this Pokemon contest thing. Hate to, I have to admit, it does quite look entertaining, but consider me a purist. I prefer battles and tough trainers. That's just me. Hope you'll enjoy everything in the gym. Blech. Hope you'll enjoy everything like the gym's contest, battle tent, the whole works. Well, we'll have to look in the contest later, because we still have a lot of the city to explore. I mean, a lot of the city. Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> I was It was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. And if we go all the way over here... A max repel and my inventory is full. I guess we can toss these potions and I'll need to clear some room. So I guess I'll do that real quick. Okay, I went ahead and cleared some space up in my inventory and I used a couple of the vitamins on some of my Pokemon. However, I am gonna hang on to a few of them for my last team member. Anyway, we got a Pokemon fan club here. Huh. Whatever anyone says, my favorite trainer is Duford's gym leader, Brawly. Okay. Been hearing things about a tough new trainer. This trainer's supposed to be beating gym leaders, even. Do you know anything about this new trainer? <coughs> my favorite trainer is cool, strong, really nice. Wish there was a trainer like that. That's all there is in here. But the main attraction I want is a bit more over this way somewhere. Let's see. Move to leader's house. Unwanted Pokemon moves deleted. So if you got HMs on your main party members, here's where you finally get rid of them. Hey you, don't go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just listen to me. Uh -huh. Pokemon are partners to people. They aren't our tools. Fortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that, like Team Rocket. When it gets right down to it. Semi suits me perfectly, a crisp breeze suits the sea. And you, a berry suits you to the T. Why should that be so? And we got a Persian berry. Not bad. When it gets right down to it, it's because you're a trainer. Anyway, I believe in this house. Maybe. Oh, what's that? We're not near awake yet, you can have this. Well, we get the TM for rest, at least. Uh, sleep is essential for good health. Sleep and retain health. 
Hmm, you know of the particular peculiar cavern in this cove? That had been a natural formation, but then Team Aqualot came along and made their renovations. Call themselves the nature-loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. So you're saying they're hypocrites. Much like most political figures nowadays. Anyway, in this rock here, we got a free heart scale. So we can finally take that to the move tutor in Fall Arbor Town and see what we can use it for. If we feel like it. Over here we have a random Pokeball. I don't see how that would be hidden in a rock on the ocean. But whatever. And over here we have a hidden power point up. I don't know why I felt like using the full name for that there. Anyway, we got the cove in there, but it's being blocked off on the inside by some grunts, so we can't really do anything about that. There, Wilmer, leap out of the water now! Huh? What do you want? We're messing up our training, so can you, like, get lost? Jerk. But, uh, I'm gonna be right back, because I wanna double-check something real quick. Okay, so I found out the thing that I actually wanted to do, I can't do yet, but... We still needed to explore Lily Cove anyway, so it's not that bad of a detour. Do you know about the machine Berry Blender? No. It's used for making a kind of candy called a Poke Block. If you give a good Poke Block to a Pokemon, its condition will improve by a lot. Well, we've been hearing a bunch of Poke Blocks in this contest hall, so let's see what we can find. Hoo boy, Master Rank Contest, here I come. The world will know that my dearest Pokemon is the cutest being in all existence. The time has come. Mm hmm. Well, these look like the berry blenders now, but we need stuff to actually make it with. Let's see. Be nice if we could actually get something here. We need the frickin' Pokeblock case, we need a contest pass. Where can we even get this stuff? Like, seriously, come on. Can we get something, please? Oh, we get it at the reception desk. This is the reception counter for Pokemon Contest. Oh, it appears you don't have a Pokeblock case yet. In that case, we need to provide you with this. There we go. <laughs> um, I'll do the contest later, but for right now, I will show the Berry Blender. It's better to use this one here because it's got four people. You can do this in multiplayer, up to four people. I don't understand why you would, because it's kind of pointless, but whatever. Uh, I know how to... Excuse me, I know how to do it. It's basically a timing minigame. So, we pick a berry to put in. Uh, let's put a Nana Berry in there. So basically, there's going to be a spinning arrow, and we basically have to push the button when it gets to our section. The closer you are to the middle, the better it is. I got a bullseye there, so I got it exact. Going to need to start concentrating for this, though, because it starts getting pretty fast. I used to be really good at doing that, but as you can see there, I can barely get any targets. But yeah, we got pretty good speed there. Purple Poke Block was made. The level is 12 and the feel is 19. To be honest, I have no idea what those mean. I really don't. I think one of them is like how much space it takes up on your Pokemon, like how many Poke Blocks you can use on it. And the other is how much the condition is raised, but I don't know for sure. However, I'm kind of under a time limit, so I can't show off the contest in this video, but I will in the next video, or maybe the one after. My life, when my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now seeing them play together it makes me happy. Oh my, my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young, good for you. I'm sure my kids can learn a thing or two from you. Me, I'm a master of Pokeblocks. Well, she'll tell you all about that, all about how to make Poke Blocks, all the tips and stuff. But again, I'm kind of on a time limit, so yeah. But over here, we've actually got another harbor, kind of like the one in Slateport. In fact, it's exactly like the one in Slateport. 
However, there's no fairy yet, so it's kind of just sitting there. However, enough beating around the bush. We saw her on screen a couple of times. Let's talk to May. Oh, hey, Anthony, are you shopping too? I bought a whole bunch of dolls and posters. Of course, I've also caught a lot of Pokemon, and I'm raising them properly, too. Actually, I'm more worried if you're raising Pokemon properly, Anthony. I'll battle with you so you can show me your Pokemon. Pokemon I raised won't be beaten by your Pokemon, Anthony. We'll see about that. Note, this is the last rival battle in Pokemon Emerald. You will not be able to battle her again after this. So, the Pokemon she sends out first is Tropius. This will be an easy one for Tentacruel. I was hoping for a bit more damage than that. So let's ask again. Hopefully she doesn't use a healing item. Another magical leaf. It's another variant of Swift, only grass type. So yeah, there's that. Tropius is down for the count. Tentacruel's level 37, very good. Slugma's next. We'll just keep Tentacruel out there. Kind of a shame that she never got to evolve Macargo. Yeah, evolve Slugma into Macargo. In fact, this rival battle is kind of disappointing because... Well, we'll see in a bit. Um, let's go out to Sharpedo. Sorry about the speed up there, but like I said, I'm under a bit of a time limit, so I can't afford too much time. Come on, crunch it, Sharpedo, crunch it! Crunch those abs! Ah, supersonic. I should have just used a person berry anyway, because I knew it was going to protect. Fuck. Okay, let's heal up. Where is my pop? There it is. There we go. Using wing attack again. Jeez. Gonna have to heal again. And what's she gonna do, wing attack again? It's almost like she knows when I'm gonna attack because she's not protecting. There we go. Now for the reason why this battle is so disappointing, it's the last rival battle, and her starter isn't fully evolved. Yeah. Pretty sad. I mean, it's like two levels away from evolving. They couldn't have just upped the levels a couple of bit, or bleh, upped the levels a bit. Or they could do what they always do and make it a Skeptile even at this level. But yeah, you never get to see your rival's final evolution of their starter. It's really stupid how they did that. They should have had one more rival battle, but they just don't. I remember the battle I had with you on Route 103. The battle helped you become this strong, didn't it? In a way. I'm, go I'm thinking of going back to Little Root soon. Got a decent group of Pokemon, my Pokedex is coming along, so I'm going home to show my dad. What are you gonna do? Collect all the gym badges to take on the Pokemon League? Well, while you're collecting badges, I'm gonna work on my Pokedex. I'll complete it before you. See ya! And she was blocking the entranceway to the Lily Cove department store. This is the best shop in the game because, well, lotto tickets, for one. And a <laughs> lot of tickets work like they usually do. They'll draw a random number, and if your Pokemon's ID numbers match though, any of those digits, you'll get an item. However, since I have time events disabled, I can only do this once. But that, you have a crap ton of items to choose from to buy. Like all these items here, there is one, only one more item that you'd be able to buy normally. And choose all your normal stuff there. Gonna try to speed through this because I only got a couple more minutes. Here's all your X items. The other girl sells vitamins. I hate having to go through this so quickly, but I do need to do that. On this floor, there's TMs. This is Protect, uh, Safeguard, Reflect, and Light Screen. 
over here. We've got Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, and Hyper Beam. I'm actually going to buy a Thunder TM. You'll see why later. Over up one more floor, we have the stuff for secret bases. I have no interest in this because I'm not actually going to be using the secret base. And over here, if we talk to this person, don't they have a set dates for the clear out sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. Well, up here you can buy whatever drinks you want from the vending machine. Again, you can only buy one at a time. And on certain days, if your time-based events are actually active... Uh, oh, this person will actually teach a Pokemon Substitute. That's actually a pretty good move. But, uh... I believe it's on Saturdays or Sundays that will have a clear-out sale for certain items. I believe secret base stuff that even on those days of the week they get exclusive items. However, that's all I'm really going to be able to show for this video because I'm, up, I'm pretty much out of time. So, next time on Pokemon Emerald... We'll finally be seeing what's up, what's going on with Team Aqua at Mount Pyre. See you guys then.